Hi, my name is Sky, and I have a message for Elisha Dishku and David Goyer. I uh, just saw in the news that you guys are interested in developing a black company TV show. Thank you. Welcome to the club. We, uh, us fans, have been uh, wanting and pining for this for years now, and um, so. In my opinion, my humble advice, guidance, or uh, you know, fan desire, whatever, um, definitely, I I would say you would want to have people like uh, Joss Whedon, um, Stephen Denight, and uh, Peter Jackson involved. Um, you know, like it just you know, get their input, get you know their insight into how they would like the show run. Um, maybe even people from Japan, Studio Ghibli, uh, or Hong Kong. Uh, you know, people who are into uh, the fighting and stuff like that. And I, I, off the top of my head, I don't know of any uh, filmmakers, movie producers, people in the U.S. who are familiar with military genre, but. I want to say, uh, you know, a veteran, <laughs> uh, like just somebody who is familiar with, uh, you know, the military and the military lifestyle, because a lot of veterans are fans of the Black Company and the style and the way it's written and the way it portrays, you know, people and what they go through. As for, and I'm also thinking that, uh, talk to P Peter Dinklage and have him tell him, like, you know, hey, I know we know you're involved in Game of Thrones, but since that show is ending and it will take a while before uh, a black company show to get launched, uh, he should become involved. Uh, in the case of one of the um, you know <laughs> midget uh, magicians, uh, One Eye or Goblin, um, I think uh, he would have a lot of fun with one of those roles. Uh, as for myself, I I'm of the opinion. And I wrote about this in one of the Facebook pages. Uh, but potentially, because of the way the story of the Black Company is set up, you could not necessarily have episodes or really seasons uh, be chronological. You don't necessarily have to follow the books of the Black Company. You could call the show the Black Company and just have it understood that this is the mercenary company, this is the world that they exist in, this is some of the heritage that uh, the Black Company follows, and each season is a story arc that involves the Black Company and whatever environment and sort of campaign that they're involved in, who, you know, this mercenary company is uh, is being you know, hired to work for. Um, in my opinion, that opens up a lot of possibilities for what the show can do. Uh, and it also allows the creators of the show to decide, okay, uh, do we want this season to be more action-based with a lot of, you know, characters and, you know, fight sequences? Or would we like to have more magic, uh, CGI, uh, special effects, um, even practical effects employed? In this episode, uh, in this you know this season, um, you know, so it just opens up the possibilities of what can be done, uh, and because of the nature of some of the characters, they could they could be alive uh, from season to season, and you know, different it's different times, different uh, you know, <laughs> you know, they're younger or older, you know, who knows, uh, whatever. Um, so, yeah, some ideas that uh, what can be done for a black company show. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited to uh, see that uh, David Goyer and Elisha Dishku are involved, are interested in creating this as a show. Um, you know, there's a lot of possibilities, a lot of ideas that uh, can be created. So, and yeah, if you look online, you will definitely find uh, us fans, you know, are, they're uh, interested in supporting you guys. So, yeah, spread the word and uh, thank you.